The three-year-olds are ready. And off they race. Naptown away well and shooting for the lead. Adios now on the inside of Midnight Mascot. They're not overly fast in the early stages. Racing third is Tunchi. Break the spell behind Naptown. And on the inside, nudging up, is Country Boy Survive. Adios now in front. Tunchi right on the pace. About a half behind in second. Third is the favourite, Midnight Mascot. A length behind them came over on the inside. Country Boy Survive. And as they go down the back stretch, Naptown still kept a little bit wide, is moving up about three lengths off this leader. Break the spell is last. They have gone at a measured stride. 23 and 1, the first fraction. 3 eighths to run. Adios now leads the Woodstock Stakes in second, placing Tunchi. A length and a half. Midnight mascot on the inside has the run of the race. Up on the outer, Naptown. Two lengths away. Country boys survive. At last, break the spell. They're in pairs, but Adios now says, let's live up to the name and go for it. Adios now leads two lengths. Midnight Mascot in second. Down the outside is Naptown. Adios now by a length and three quarters. Down the outside, it's still Naptown trying desperately with Midnight Mascot. Adios now in front. Midnight Mascot finding enough. Is coming up on the outside and had a lot there to get up and take over late. Wins the Woodstock Stakes for Patrick Husbands. Midnight Mascot defeating Adios now. Naptown third, then break the spell. Tunchi at last. Country Boys survive. 110-71. Midnight mascot in today's Woodstock Stakes, uh, bred by Yvonne Schwab. He was too scared to come on TV. We have uh, Penny and uh, Manfred Conrad, and we have the Hall of Famer, Patrick Husbands. We'll get to that in a couple of seconds. But uh, first of all, Patrick, I wasn't sure you were going to get to Adios now. Did you have any anxious moments? You know, you know, last time when I rode him on Fortune, you know, he should have won. But, you know, it's, a, it's an honor to get a chance to ride him back Um Throughout this whole race, I try to run like the best horse. I know when we straighten up, it will be a matter of time how far you win, you know. Boy, it just seemed like the horse settled really nicely for you, too. You got a beautiful spot down the back stretch. Were you happy from that point of view? Yeah, as I say, you know, going back to his last race when I rode him last year, you know, to this race today, you know, he was much the best last time, and today he was much the best. What did it mean to you earlier on this week? It was announced who the class of 2024 was going to be for the Hall of Fame. What went through your mind when you got the phone call? Yeah, you know, I get it from Jim and Wow, it was it was it was a dream come true. Um, sitting with the top writers of Canada all these years, you know, and, and to get our award is is stunning. Yeah, you deserved it, my friend. I knew it was only a matter of time. Congratulations and enjoy this win. All right, thank you, thank Conrad and Mark Cassie. Okay, Penny, always great to see you. You had a nice winner yesterday. You guys have had a great deal of success with Shamrock Rose comes to mind, and uh, I understand you actually purchased a sibling note of that by, uh, by that family, as a matter of fact, not all that long ago. What does this victory mean to you guys? Well, we're ecstatic and very uh, thankful to Mark, Patrick, and congratulations to Patrick, and uh, Mark, who has been training them, and Yvonne for breeding him. <laughs> yeah. Now, is Manfred, the, is Manfred the good luck charm? <laughs> I think we'd go that far. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> He's a driver. I'm the driver. Let's bring in Yvonne for a quick word here, Yvonne, if you don't mind, because this is the Midnight Area family, so we know the family very, very well. What does it mean to you as a breeder to win a race like this? Oh, it's so thrilling, and I'm really happy for the Conrads, and it's just, you know, what it's like, because I have the mare, and I have a full sibling, and then I, we, she just had a filly by Vacoma the other day, so it's so wonderful when your homebreds do well, especially when they come home to Canada and do well. I have to ask you about the name, Midnight Mascot. Just a quick thought. Where did that come from? Do you remember? Well, Army Mule is a mascot. There you go. Sounds good to me. He the name at midnight. And, he, and he says that he picked the name at midnight. <laughs> congratulations, everybody. And a big win yesterday for you guys as well. So congratulations. 
Midnight Mascot does it in today's Woodstock Stakes.